Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great uh, day and uh, hope we're all hanging in here together. I just wanted to quit, share a quick idea that I read this pish about with my wife at our Shabbos table. It was a beautiful, beautiful idea and it really moved both of us. The, um, this past week's Torah portion was about a person who was afflicted with a skin disease called Saras and he got it because he was speaking slander about another person and he had to go into isolation to quarantine and not have communication with other people. And part of the rules was that if anyone came close to him, he had to pronounce himself as Tame Tame Yikra, the, the verse says. He had to announce to the world that he was impure and he was afflicted with this. So at first glance, it seems it's a little cruel, embarrassed to the person. He has to announce out loud that he's, uh, he's afflicted with this. But the Talmud in two places explains that this was actually the reason why God made this part of the rules was so everyone would find out about it and everyone would have the opportunity to pray for him. When people would hear about that, he's suffering, they would pray for him. And when the power of prayer, when you pray for someone else, is so powerful that this will help him heal and Hashem will give him a refu shleima and he will mend his ways and be able to get back into regular society. So Rav Shimshim Pincus, uh, this was the book we were reading together, um, writes an amazing idea. He says that we all like to help people. And if we can, we would do anything to help someone. For example, you're walking in the street and you see someone who fell and he's bleeding. So you run over to them and you'll try to help them. If you have band-aids on you, you'll, you'll call. If you can't help them, so you'll try to call someone who can. You'll call an ambulance. You'll call a doctor. And uh, hopefully the person will get helped. If a person, if you know someone, you have a friend who's suffering financially and you have the means to help them. So of course we'd all open our wallets and help. And if we can't ourselves, we try to find someone who can. And if we have a father who can, we don't, might not have the means, but our father does have the means. So we'll ask our father, please, I'm begging you, my friend's struggling. Can you please help out? So Rapinkus explains that we all, all, each one of us, we have a father in heaven. We have a daddy who lo- loves all of us and we can turn to him and ask him to help anyone. And we have that obligation to do that for each other. And if we can't help each other, we turn up to our Father in Heaven and say, Dad, my friend is suffering. Please, please, I beg you. I know you have, he doesn't have enough money. You have the most money in the world. You have everything. You can help him. You're the best doctor in the world. You can heal this person. You're the best scientist. You can get rid of the coronavirus. You, 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 you can do it. And we know you can. You have the ability. I'm begging you. Father in heaven, please, please help out my friends, help out my brothers and sisters. And if you can't do it, turn to your Father in heaven because He can. And the more we pray and we beg Hashem for each other, that's the quicker the salvation is going to come, the quicker the Geula Mashiach is going to come, and it's going to heal everything and bring uh, erase all of our issues and problems. So I implore all of us to turn to our Father in heaven, to beg Him, Please, please help out. I know you have the ability to do whatever you want. Please help out, help out our friends. Help out each other. And through that, we'll actually get the final redemption and everything will be healed and we'll be able to celebrate together in the streets of Jerusalem together. Everyone have a great rest of the day.